hello guys in this video we will discuss how uh, to set up the sublime text for the first time when you open it on the first time you will see something like this uh, there is no file open and anything uh, not have done yet so first of all you have to create a new file with ctrl n or you can go to the files and then new file right and the new file will open now to run a c++ code you have to save this file with the extension .cpp because if you write without saving it then you Right, something that it is uh, not colored right you will you couldn't see any color in this so first of all we save select your preferred destination folder and give any name to this i am giving test.cpp dot cpp is very important for c plus plus files and then save and now uh, it will colored right so it helps a lot when we are writing the code and it will also suggestion it will give a suggestion to us right now i am uh, writing a sample code so if i write simply c out hello world right what you have to do to uh, print the answer go to the tools then build system and it should be c plus plus single while selected right and how to build uh, this code you have to just click ctrl b or you can go to the tools and then build right so after building you will see the output here right now if you have to take input also right? if we take uh, so i have written a couple of lines here if you do not uh, if you are learning c++ and you have not reached this point so don't worry uh, what i have done we have taken a value n which is the number of elements that we are going to take and then we take these n elements and then print those elements also right to build this code if we just uh, hit ctrl b it will stop here because it is a uh, needed input but input is not given to this file in any way to, to, to give input we cannot directly put other input here so what we have to do either we have to take input from a file or we have to run this through a command line right so i am going to show both the ways first of all i will run this code with the help of cmd right so open the command and then here go to the directory where this file exists so in my case it exists in desktop and inside desktop go to the folder that uh, in which this folder exists and now inside this uh, so now inside this folder this file exists so i simply write I, I simply compile this file to compile this file i am using g++ compiler the detailed video of this compiler how to install is also available on my channel you can check from the i buttons so what we have to uh, write here is g++ file name which is test.cpp and just hit the enter by hitting enter what we have uh, what is actually done uh, that i'm going to show you so just open this file now in the folder we have only one now i will enter this command on entering a new file is created with a.exe right what this file this is a compiled version of the c++ file which is run by the our system so i just type a or a.exe then hit enter now the code start running and it is waiting for my input so first of all we have to give the n number of elements let's say five then we have to give five more elements one two three four and five now these five elements are printed one two three four five and after that hello world right so this program runs with the help of command line now what if we have to uh, so opening the command line every time it's a tedious task and uh, to check for different inputs we can use the file right so i am creating a new file and giving the name input.txt to this file i have saved the file in the same destination where this test file exists so save it and extension to be txt now you i can provide my input here with five one two three four five right input is provided in the input.txt file save it now here we have to connect this file so to connect the file input file we have to write free open then the name of the file which is input.txt then we have to read the file so we type r and then standard input std in just for standard input in this way this file is connected now this code will take input from this file right now i am building the same program with the help of control b i got the same output to uh, get the space between the number we have to just uh, do it like this now build you will see something like this uh, got it so in this way we can connect the input file as well now uh, 
to make it better what we can do we can open the input file in the left and the right side by using control l control shift and then two with the help of this two windows will create it two columns will create it and just drag it here so what um, so if your shortcut did not, did not work what you can do you go to the view tab and then here layouts and column two right two columns will be created so in this way we can create the input column and the output is given below here if you want that your output is saved in a file then you can also do that with the same command because you have to write the name of the file here which is output.txt in this case and you have to write in the file so make it w and standard output so std out in this way the output will be saved in this file to open that file just open this file output.txt it does not access so it will be create new file and save it output file is saved so if you uh, so this is our output file if you build it again you will see that output will be saved in the output file okay input is taken from the input file so if you want uh, to make it better looks better what we can do uh, go to the view tab and then layouts make the three columns right three columns will be created put each file in each one your code file input file output file and after that uh, do the layout uh, go to the groups and make it max column two so two are the max columns and it will convert into the row and then just drag it here so in this way this is the input this is output i clear the output file and now here i am just building it again and the output will be saved in the output file so i hope you understand all these points so that's all for this video guys i hope you like it thanks for watching